because uh, I don't have a ride like yours, so mine keeps going. So give me some room so I can speed up if I have to. 10-4, bro, 10-4. It's day one of our ambitious five-day trip to the East Cut, and we're already facing challenges because of a strong and unexpected cold front. What's going on, guys? Huh? What's going on? It's closed. It's closed completely? Yes. You can't go through that side either? You can walk, drive all the way over here, but you can't get in here no more. Right oh, okay. Now. It's closed right now because of the high tide. I understand. Well, what's going on? Is it hitting all the way to the top or what? Yeah wind condition and then in a couple of hours we're gonna have a high tide so the water is there it's gonna start coming out okay Whew. okay all righty thank you yeah. hey guys robert here with coastal gx things are a little different this time around we're at beach axis six we're trying to cross in <clears throat> i don't know if the camera got a got a view of it but they pretty much shut down they shut down uh, Beach Axis 6, and we're trying to see if we can find an alternate way to get into uh, to the East Cut. What's going on, guys? I'm with my brothers. Uh, there's two other rigs behind me. Status? Checking on them right now. Temple. Yeah, so uh, right now I see a lot of vehicles heading past uh, north of uh, Beach Axis 6 trying to get in. I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. This is uh, not what we had planned, but Mother Nature does what Mother Nature does, right? Um, maybe it's... 10-4. Uh, the, the cold front just rolled in yesterday and it came in with a fury, man. I mean, the wind... It's really, really high. The the waves are high right now. Wings are winds are strong. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if they're gonna allow us to go <clears throat> back here. <clears throat> but the goal was to come here for five days, guys. We're supposed to be here for five days, camping out at the East Cut, and it's not for a lack of trying. Guarantee you that. This is uh this is day one and it sucks. So this east cut <clears throat> plan might not happen we might have to you know do something different now my brother who's behind me he's uh he's traveling he's using um a chevy dually with an old school blazer uh on a trailer <coughs> that's uh that's a uh, pretty hardcore i don't know if that's gonna work or not but you know what can i tell you this is an adventure channel that's what we try to do around here so we already deflated our tires um and uh we came here to try to see if we can access the beach to drive along the beach i already have a friend who came over yesterday and he made it all the way to the east cut this morning he said it was not a, a, a pleasant drive at all he said that it was uh it went it was a rough experience that he had um but uh he made it he did make it and he said that most vehicles that were going through were making it as well the tide this is the the lowest the tide's gonna get today man so if we're gonna make it right now is the time to make it we made a command decision and decided to drive over a trail leading to the beach. The trail posed little to no challenge for Sandy and my brother Rick's Jeep. The heavy trailer and loose sand was a little too much for the dually. A quick yank from my brother Manny's classic blazer got us going again. We felt the high tide and bad weather was too high a risk to travel with the dually and the trailer, so we decided to set up a temporary camp between the dunes. It was really unsafe heading all the way 
to the east cut today so we decided to you know there was already there was already uh some tracks going over here that's where one of the trash cans is and we have some larger dunes over here on this side so what we decided to do is we decided to just bring it in past the, the trash can park the trailer over there and then uh, we set up camp right on this side over here and uh, so yeah that that is not driftwood by the way uh, my brother uh, Manny brought that from home um, in the hopes of uh, actually making a fire out here because normally when we when I come over here with Sandy there's there's just no room for firewood or anything like that um, so let me let me give you a little rundown of our little camp this is not the permanent camp we're still gonna try to make it to the east cut but right now we have this uh, gazelle uh, t4 tent it's the one that you saw in episode one uh, where Samantha Robbie and I were camping out now we got my brother Rick over here and his son Jorge and uh, you know we're gonna be the three of us are gonna be staying in this tent that's there's, there's plenty of room there and uh, my brother and his uh, friend Nate and his boys they're gonna be staying uh, in the truck and uh, in that other tent over there uh, the way we position our vehicles is uh, it was intentional so right now because of the northern wind you know we're getting all this uh, wind coming obviously from the north so what we decided to do was we used the existing um, dunes the the yes the structures there as a, a way to block us block this the wind and then I positioned my vehicle and my brother positioned his vehicle and then my brother over here to try to block it in and uh, surround the camp that way it's it's not miserable man I mean, it's it's pretty well we were trying to fish and uh, we had no luck it's just catfish um, and the water is so murky and the I mean that that ocean is raging so we decided uh, to call it quits for now and uh, probably work on on uh, getting dinner ready in a little bit <laughs> you did it! You blew me down! Hey, you have some Chinese plastic in your, on your back now! The fishing was terrible and camp was set up. So I went for a ride with my brother Manny, his friend Nate, and my nephews Marco and Manny Jr. <laughs> Time to make the donuts! We had a blast with a classic Chevy Blazer, until. Little mechanical snafu. My brother's Blazer, the front shaft, decided to come off. Now, before the sun goes down, we're doing some uh, last minute mechanical work. We have a bit of an issue. As you can see, the high lift, He's doing high it, lift he's is doing digging, it. He's got it. He's got it. digging down. The high lift is digging down, and uh, we're gonna try to use the max tracks. We're gonna try to use the max tracks to try to uh, keep it from uh, digging into the sand. So we gonna, now we gotta drop it more, right? Don't try that with the knockoffs. The knockoff Max Tracks, yeah, that shit's not gonna work. While Nate and Manny worked on the blazer, my nephews had a good time playing with the sand. <laughs> what the heck? You wanna fight? So this is where we start overacting because I could do this with my finger. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, you can do it with your finger, go for it. No. It's more manly with a wrench. We got the campfire going while Nate fired up the barbecue pit. Nate, what do we have going on here? We got some pork, uh, the, the pork riblets. Oh, new, That's what's going on right now. And we're going to put them off to the side in a little while. They're doing excellent. And we're going to put on a little bit of chicken afterwards, but 
we're gonna go ahead and let these just set a little bit set just a little bit all right because let's be honest all right something about that pork fat and a little bit of beer it's kind of like having bacon and in a cheeseburger in a burger with bacon just bacon you know at all times how about that you yeah. know yeah I think the sand has made him mad but I like what he's saying the guy's right the guy's right plans to overland or camp can be severely impacted by the weather however your general attitude will determine what you take from the experience I gotta say day one was not what I planned for but it certainly wasn't a bust. On day two of Coastal GX's mini expedition to the East Cut, we wake up to a camp intruder. He just wouldn't leave, so I had to pop off around. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.